The MSc in Oncology Drug Discovery has been generated based on experience not only that I've had throughout my career, but actually through interactions with students over the years. It, it is a fantastic opportunity to come in and actually be able to work on cutting edge research where we're looking at developing novel therapies and novel drugs you know, to treat cancer, to treat cystic fibrosis. So here within the CCRCB, the Centre for Cancer Research and Cell Biology, we have really established a cutting edge cancer research centre, not only locally but globally, that's actually starting to make an impact on cancer research. We do a lot of work to try and understand you know, what patients go through. The, the centre itself is actually getting tumour samples, they're able to annotate those samples and really start to understand what's driving those cancers and then start to translate that into real biological questions within the centre. Where are the future drug discovery targets? Once those targets are started to be validated, we can actually bring them into the drug discovery lab, start to look at generating small molecules that can actually inhibit these proteins or enzymes or receptors and then once we develop those projects, then we can actually start to then push this back into the cancer centre within Belfast. The way we've set up the course is actually to give students that experience. You know, it's really, you, they'll be coming onto the course within the first semester and doing a lot of actually cancer biology seminars. So they really stand, understand what drives cancer, what are the kind of key things that scientists look for, understand really the impact on patients, not just here, but globally. What we've been able to establish for the second semester is there will be two parts to the, to, the, to the module overall. We'll talk about what we call hit to lead and clinical trials and lead optimization and how those feature. So this will be uh, you know, a, a really good insight into actually, you know, where do cancer targets come from. But every time you open a journal, you'll see there's hundreds and hundreds of really exciting targets but very few of them actually ever make it as far as a clinical target. What we're trying to do as part of the course is start to understand right, where do these targets come from and how do we validate them and how that validation continues all the way through and how we slowly start to translate that into a drug discovery target. Then we'll go on to talk about well, actually where do we actually get chemical styling points for drug discovery. You know, there's lots of different opportunities there through natural products, through drug screening, fragment screening, which is going to be a big part of what we actually teach. Fragment screening for drug discovery is really becoming a pioneering approach to how we discover new drugs and chemicals that actually inhibit new targets. So students will get some hands-on experience seeing how to set up the NMR spectrometer, how to set up the experiments, how to prepare their samples so they'll actually get to do a little mini fragment screen of their own on a protein and they can maybe do some analysis on how the different structures bind or don't bind to that protein. So the idea is that you want to find out which structures work for particular proteins and which don't and then you can build on from there. Then we come into the drug discovery itself. How do then to optimize those compounds and drive potency, selectivity, solubility, stability, etc. And then when we move on to the second part of that module, what we'll start to address is what are the key elements in actually optimizing a compound for preclinical development. And that's a real big task. People with ALMAC discovery are going to come on board and actually shed a light on some of the projects that they've worked on and how they've gone about tackling that process. What we're really looking for is just students who are enthusiastic, willing to learn, they want to work and actually sort of develop their own careers and actually have a, try to get an understanding of where they want to go. Really about establishing a good research background then to move on to whether it's an academic career or whether it's an industrial career.